hardware. This is the first time Sinn Féin and Amur have decided to attend such an event. Why now? Well, I think that when I pointed in June, I said that I would try and be a mayor for all the people of Belfast. That brings challenges, and I said at the time in an interview with Infoblock that it would bring great challenges, especially to the Republican people. And what I did today was really reaching out to the unionist Protestant community of Belfast, uh, for whom remembrance is a major, major event each year. Uh, and in doing so, I hope to build a peace to show respect uh, for the unionist tradition and culture in this city uh, and I think it was the right place to be. Tough place to be for Republicans but the right place to be today if we want to build a peace and build a better Belfast. Remember also the fact that many of those who died, many of the Irish men who died, had joined the British Army to fight for the freedom of Belgium, the freedom of small nations, many for home rule and the independence of Ireland as well and we need to make sure that they are written, in, written into the, 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 the story uh, and that we pay respect to those, uh, those Irish men as well. I'm really aware of how tough this is for the Republican nationalist people of Belfast and of Ireland because our experience with the British Army has been one of uh, brutal uh, oppression, uh, bruising, wounding time for the people of Belfast, their experience with the British Army. And what I'm saying to those people is that my presence today is in no way an endorsement of anything the British Army is involved in then or today or in the past, but it is remembering the dead and we have to try and build the common ground in Belfast in particular, try and find ways to unite our people rather than divide them. And today, I think we did that by remembering the dead from all traditions who lost their lives in that horrible slaughter, which was the First World War. And finally, at a personal level, when you're standing at events such as today, what are your thoughts? Well, my thoughts are that we should recommit ourselves to that pledge that was broken, that it was to be the war that, to end all wars. Uh, we know we've had a bloody century since. Uh, and we've had war at home uh, and it's my hope and prayer that by being at the uh, Sanitaf and Armistice Day that we will try and avoid not only war again at home but try and re-pledge ourselves to the commitment that there should be no war anywhere in the world and that should be uh, really our ambition, it should be the direction of all our, all our thoughts and energies to try and end uh, war wherever it's taking place. What Marching is doing is absolutely wonderful and given this year I think we'll make a lot of progress towards understanding each other and it's a big consolation for people to know that their, their own people are not forgotten and there will be lots and lots of commemorations and if, if this lays the foundation of a, a very courteous and very respectful, very appreciative remembrance for all our people of all the people who died, many of us will tragically and unnecessarily. Well, that's a tremendous amount of progress. And for that reason alone, I'm very happy to be here. But primarily, of course, uh, I, I think of what uh, Martin is doing as Lord Mayor is very progressive. If my mother and father could come back and see what's happening, uh, they, they, they would be astounded and very pleasantly astounded.